Hi there, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to connect deeper with your man through play. Hello, Matt Schaefer, your empowerment, connection, and relationship coach. And I'm really excited about today's topic because today we're gonna talk about how you can use play with a man to help him lower his walls, really drop in and connect with you at a deeper level. So I'm excited to share this with you. I do this with a lot of my clients who are dating and in relationship, and it always gets great results. But before I do, I would love for you to take a second, hit that little subscribe button. I'm always uploading new content and I'd love to have you as part of our tribe. So let's dive into this. And a really great place to start is with one fundamental understanding. And that is that all men, no matter how old they are, no matter how successful they are, what they've achieved, where they're at in their lives, all men are a little boys at heart, okay? Every man out there has a young boy within him who loves to play, right? Every man has what I like to call a play drive, right? He has a play drive. He has this fundamental drive and need and yearning to play. And when you can activate that, when you can turn that on, you're gonna get him to release everything that he may have been holding on to, and you're really gonna get him to drop into his heart and connect with you at a deeper level. And it really is important for you to do this with a man because one of the fundamental things that the masculine is looking for from the feminine is to be set free, to be liberated from our responsibilities, to be liberated from our stress, right? So one of the most powerful ways you can do this is by activating a man's play drive and engaging in play with him. So I'm going to share with you some simple steps to help you do that so that you can really connect deeper with him and play with him in a meaningful way. And one of the first things you can do to really activate a man's play drive, and this is something you can do anytime, is to be open and ready to tease him and also be teased by him, right? Because teasing is a form of play and it's something that men have been doing for decades, right? Especially when they were little. They would tease their friends. Their friends would tease them back. If they had a crush on a girl, right, they would tease her. They would pull her pigtails. They would do stuff like that. So if you can get comfortable with a man and now don't be afraid to tease him, right? Don't be afraid to tease him, but also you got to be ready and willing to get as good as you give. And so what does this look like? What does teasing a man look like? Well, one of the best ways to do it is to know your frame, right? So your frame is all of your interests. It's what you're into. It's your preferences. It's knowing your hobbies and just all the things that you're into and then knowing his as well, okay? And whatever differences there may be between his frame and your frame, say he's into baseball and you are not. <laughs> you have no understanding or interest in baseball. Be willing to tease him about baseball, right? Be willing to ask him a kind of a sarcastic question like, so what is it about baseball that's so fascinating? Is it the fact that they spend 95% of the game standing around waiting for something to happen? Or is it the fact that they scratch their crotches like every 30 seconds? I'm just looking for the appeal here. I thought maybe you could tell me. So that's a good basis for teasing in a playful, loving, and inviting way. Look for differences between what you're into and what he's into, and then just playfully jabbing him about it and be willing to receive his little jabs back because this is all about getting out of that serious sharing dynamic and being able to just kind of poke each other in a fun, playful way. Now the next powerful step in being able to activate a man's play drive is to find out how he likes to play by asking powerful questions. And different men, depending upon their life experience, depending upon how they're wired, how they grew up, all of that stuff, they're gonna to wanna to play in different ways, right? Some men are going to be into sports. Some men might be into video games, right? Every guy is gonna have a different type of play that he likes to engage in. Some men might be into cards, right? Or, gambling. I mean, who knows? But whatever a man is into, all men have some area in their lives where they tend to be a little competitive, where they like to play. And so you get to 
ask him, right? You get to ask a man, what kind of play is he into? How, where does he like to be competitive in his life, right? So ask powerful questions and get familiar with that. And once he talks about what he's into, ask him, hey, can I play with you? Can we go out and do this sometime? He'll probably be A, a little surprised and B, really excited to do that, especially if it's something that you're not necessarily very experienced at or very good at because it's going to give him an opportunity to teach you about it, right? So whatever way a man likes to be competitive, he's probably pretty experienced at it. He's probably pretty good at it. And when you allow him to teach you something, it creates a lot of polarity with him because he gets to be that powerful educating force and he gets to teach you how to do something and then you get to have some friendly competition going back and forth playing cards or playing some video games or doing whatever it is and you'll be able to see as you're playing with him you'll be able to see his walls drop you'll be able to see him connect with you at a deeper level and you're going to see him sort of soften up and get out of his head and just being in that competitive framework even if you're terrible is going to be a lot of fun for example if i'm dating someone I love to take her out and show her how to play tennis and give her a little mini tennis lesson. And then we get to go and we play a little tennis and I'm happy to keep score and I love having some light competition with her. And of course, you know, I've been playing tennis for years and she's brand new, but we do have a chance to play and enjoy each other and have a little light competition around it. So by allowing him to teach you and then compete with you in something that he loves to do, it's gonna create polarity and it's gonna create deeper connection with him. And another important step to activating his play drive is to tell him how you like to play and then invite him to join you in it. The feminine is a inviting, evoking force to the masculine and you get to let him know, hey, I'm pretty good at soccer and I'd love to go out and play with you sometimes. Maybe I can teach you a thing or two. After you ask him and you get engaged with him on what he's passionate about and what he likes to do and play with him in that way, tell him how you like to play. Maybe you can kick his butt in Super Mario Kart, right? And don't be afraid to tell him that, okay? This is something that I talk a lot about with my clients, especially if you're good at something, right? Don't be afraid to challenge him. Don't be afraid to tell him, I think I'm gonna beat you in this, right? I know a lot of women are a little resistant right to being challenging to a man or to talk smack to a man in any way because they don't want to come off as masculine and I get that but I, I invite you to release that in this context because within the context of play you want competition right you want to create a playful competitiveness between you and your man and so it's okay for you to challenge him it's okay for you to stand in your power and say I'm really good at tennis and I bet I'm going to beat you because something you got to remember here is that men love obstacles. They see obstacles and challenges as value building, right? So by you challenging him, by you creating obstacles for him, by you saying, hey, I'm good at this. I think I'm going to beat you at it. You're actually building value in his eyes and you're engaging him. So just be willing to invite him to do the things that you love to do and that you're great at playing and then be genuinely competitive with him on it. And if you beat him, you beat him, right? And just be light and be playful about it. Don't be hyper masculine and hyper serious, but also don't let him win, right? Be willing to beat him <laughs> if you can. So if you can connect with a man, see him as that little boy that he is inside and really engage with him at that play level, activate his play drive, be competitive with him, ask him powerful questions and figure out how he likes to play and play with him, allow him to teach you, right? And then tell him how you like to play and then take him on, right? And if you can beat him, you beat him. And don't be afraid to be sarcastic. Don't be afraid to talk a little smack and just get in that space with him and play with his little boy. You're gonna see his walls drop. You're gonna see him connect with you at a deeper level and you're gonna build a new type of intimacy and a new type of appreciation between you. So I hope this video resonated with you. If it did, take a second, hit that little subscribe button and I will see you next time on my YouTube channel. Bye-bye. Before you go, take a second and click the link in the caption or comments for a training I've created that I guarantee will help you transform your life in so many ways. I hope to see you there.